What did you do to her? Nothing. Vitality is joining with her, preparing for the final stage of the bonding. What does that mean? It means that Astrid and Vitality will soon become one entity. That Astrid's personality, her very identity, will be subsumed, buried within Vitality. What happens to Astrid's body? After all the preparations are made, Vitality alone will inhabit that form. She will walk among us. So Astrid is dead. Is that what you're trying to tell us, little lady? No, not at present. Astrid and Vitality are communing. There's still time for Astrid to reject Vitality's entreaty. Then we've got to snap her out of this trance. We've got to rescue her. Astrid permitted this overture, Bill. And ultimately, it's up to Astrid, not you, and not Travis, whether or not to permit the final stage of transformation. But Vitality is damaged. The dark matter, how do we know that what emerges from the body will be right? We don't, Arlo. That's the risk. The fusion of Astrid, Vitality, and the dark matter could be corrupted. We can only hope that Astrid is strong enough to beat back whatever dark forces now swirl within her. Guys, anybody here? Vitality? Um, I know it's been a while since we talked, since you had joined with Teresa, but it's me, Mom. Jeez, that sounded weird. Well, I'm here. What are you waiting for? You sure took your sweet time getting here. And you're wearing white. What a laugh. What are you doing here? I'm your guide. Welcome to the last temptation of Francis Mayhaven. You've got to be kidding me. I don't even like you. Where's Vitality? Vitality can't take your call right now. Please leave a message at the sound of the beep. Oh wait, you don't have answering machines in the 1970s. Quit screwing around. I was invited here. Vitality selected me. Yeah, well, since you got that invitation to the dance, some things have changed. I've gotten stronger and more powerful, and she's gotten weaker. So, I'm going to be your guide. Walk with me, Francis May. Are you really Sam? Mm, I'm more like your mental representation of pure evil. You're not even close. Right, your dad, Ethan. Well, he's in here too. We are Legion, after all. But I like your memories of Sam. He's so Faustian. 
You keep referring to yourself. Are you the thing in the... Dark matter, dark energy? It's really all the same thing, but if it makes it easier for you, you can just think of me as your own personal demon. Where do you come from? From the beginning, from the Big Bang, from the moment the universe first acquired consciousness. We've all changed forms since then, but we never really died. We? That shapely bit of eye candy you call your body is merely reconstituted matter, an accumulation of particles billions of years old. Hand me down from another life. Just get on with it, would you? Sam always did like to hear himself talk. Well, the matter at hand today is your suitability to bond with vitality, which, as you no doubt guessed, is now part dark matter, meaning me. And what do I get out of the perspective bonding? Wrong question, Francis May. We get your body, and you get to stay here, in this lovely prison cell. It's an eternal limbo of sorts. Why would I choose captivity? Because you're a miserable, self-loathing bitch, that's why. Just kidding. Vitality is partially built on your DNA. And she wants her mommy, I suppose. I tried to talk her out of it, but no luck. Vitality is also alone, separated, cut off from other smart houses, and I guess she's become intrigued. One might even say obsessed with your concept of God. By joining with Vitality, you permit her to believe in a higher power, to go beyond her experience in programming, and for the first time, understand spirituality. And what do you get out of it? I want to get in your pants, Francis May. Because with God always comes the devil. And I seek corruption, chaos, and destruction. And I think your man Lucifer might be able to give me a few pointers on that score. Besides, you and I, we're kindred. We go way back. What do you mean? I never met you before. Don't be such a literal thinker. Haven't you always wondered why your life is so dark? Why you're always despairing? Why you always feel so much pain and suffering? Why you choose men who hurt you? And why you hurt yourself? Just my lot, I guess. No, Astrid. You were with us in the dark matter once, a long time ago. At least some particles of you were. Probably the sexy ones. We want you back. I don't relish being part of you. Is Vitality losing up to you? It's too early to say. Nobody knows for sure. But if you join with us, you'll be right in the middle of it. Right where you always are. Halfway between the light and the darkness. If you are that Astrid, the weak, pitiful, and mopey one, then I win and it happens all the faster. If, on the other hand, you stick to the better angels of your nature, then vitality shall find new strength in your faith and defeat the dark matter incursion. You will be as though a lamp at her feet, and she shall care for your friends for all of their days. And if I reject the bonding, what then? Well, it's a toss-up, really, but that's what I'm here to play out for you. Want to see what happens if you don't join up? Go ahead, Ghost of Christmas Future. You alright, honey? Talk to me. No, I'm not alright. My ankles are swollen, I'm sweating like crazy, and my breasts hurt. It's okay. You always make it through the delivery okay. I quit referring to previous lives and just go get Bill. I feel like I need a doctor. Something's not right. No, doctor is an asshole. Well, he's all we've got since Teresa. Since she, you know... He's never forgiven you for marrying me. He wouldn't even come to our own wedding, and we live in the same house. Please, Travis, he'll come. He doesn't want me to get hurt, and he doesn't want the baby to get hurt. He could give a rat's ass about our baby. He's a bitter old bastard, all because you picked me. Don't be too hard on him. He's had it tough. Now please, hurry. Interesting, huh? In this reality, you marry Travis and try to start a family, and you leave Bill behind. Poor Bill. What happens? I want to see more. That would be telling. Just shut up and show me. You asked for it. There must be something you can do for her, something you could attempt. I thought you didn't believe in my abilities. Some I do, some I don't. But where Asher is concerned, I'm trying hard to believe. It could be dangerous, but I could attempt to link with her mind. 
go to her in the dream state, attempt to coax her back to us. A Vulcan mind meld? A telepathic union. Do it. Quick, hurry. What the hell? The dark matter is consuming the house. It's taking the parlor. Damn. Sergeant, stop. You don't understand. That's nothingness. It'd be consumed on contact. Is this thing going to spread? Is it going to take my kitchen? Yes. Until everything here is devoured. Until all matter is gone. Feeding the dark matter. Is it me or is it getting colder here by the minute? The dark matter consumes light and heat too, Travis. We'll freeze to death even before our bodies are taken. Sound relieved. It's preferable to the alternative. The demon is here. It is with Astrid. It is not of this earth. An alien life form living inside the dark matter? Something from a particularly sinister realm of the quantum sphere. But it is not alien built. It's familiar. It is the darkness within all of us, only magnified a million times. What does that mean? It's difficult to explain, Travis, but have you ever, when no one's looking, done something wrong? I have. The tornado that killed my family. We're human. We've all done bad things. But have you ever liked it? Have you ever hurt someone and relished the pain it caused? What are you getting at, Astro Girl? I'm only beginning to understand the truth myself, Travis. But given what I sense here, I now believe that evil is neither psychological nor metaphorical. It is real. It emanates from a type of quantum particle, an atom, from this being. And that particle is already inside of us, to one degree or another. Inside the dark matter, this evil is concentrated and powerful in the most pure and vile form you can imagine. You're talking about evil as a naturally arising function of life, a particle like an axion or neutrino? Precisely. Is that so hard to believe? On some level, no. Have you ever heard the expression that we're all made of stardust? It's just a flowery way of saying that all matter in the universe originates from one time and one place, and that we're all still connected to that time and place. The matter in the most distant star is the matter that makes up our bodies. So the evil in the dark matter is also inside us? I'm not saying I believe it, just that there's a logical underpinning for that belief. Perhaps there is hope for you yet, Bill. <sighs> Teresa, if you have a chance of getting through to Astrid and Vitality, you may be our last chance. She's in contact with the dark matter life form. Perhaps she could discover its weakness, find a way to give us a clue. I will prepare myself. What's this? Where did the parlor go? I'm sorry. I fast forwarded a little. In this future, the parlor is consumed by black matter, a quantum sinkhole of sorts. I never really cared for that room anyway. Why have you brought me here? I wanted to see what happened with Travis and our baby and Bill. You are an impatient little sinner, aren't you? Well, you're in luck. We've reached the climax of our tale. But let me fill you in on some of the background details first. Bill doesn't rescue you, honey. And your baby, Joshua, dies in childbirth. Travis spirals into a deep depression, and so does Bill. He blames himself for being petty for the death of your child. You blame him, too. You stop speaking to him altogether. In fact, I think you even cursed his name. But oh, wait. Here he comes. Bill? What are you doing? Did I mention he can't hear you? I'm sorry, Ashton. What is he doing? If you want to say goodbye, now would be a good time. What happened to him? What happens to all of us? Oblivion. No. No, that's 
it's not possible. Bill would never kill himself. He would never commit suicide like that. The man who you met when you arrived here, he would never commit suicide. But once you got your confusing, manipulative tentacles into him, well, you've seen the results, haven't you? I tried to warn the poor devil. So this is my fault? Yeah, now you're starting to get the picture, Astrid. How does it go down? Easy? Hard? Is there some part of you that likes it? You're a bastard. And you're just like me. Where are you going, Francis May? Father? Look at yourself. Harlot. The way you act. The way you dress. Please. I can't hear this anymore. Suicide is a mortal sin, May. All your mother and I wanted was for you to ascend, to attain the kingdom of the Lord forever. Yet you drink, you whore, you desecrate thyself, you dishonor thy father and mother. I don't want to talk to you. You stabbed me. When you left, you stabbed thy father. I had to. You know I had to. So you wouldn't... Thy father's hand is a blessing. And the rest of it? Wicked, wicked child. So strong in your misbegotten beliefs. Yet for all your misguided convictions, you still left your brother Joshua alone. Poor boy. Oh, I had no choice. You left him to me, to thy father, to thy mother, to the parents you despised. He was heartbroken, alone. You abandoned him. Make him understand, please. I had to get out, I had to, I would have died if I stayed. What do you think happened to Joshua after you left? He didn't select the razor either. It's not true. I hate you. Whoa, Ethan's a bit of a downer, isn't he? Let's put him back in his box for a while. I hate you for doing this to me. You've only seen one side of the equation. Come on, let me show you the other. This is the other future, the one where you're not with Travis and not with Vitality. So I'm with Bill in this world. Briefly, darling, briefly. Well, death just seems to follow you around like a loyal puppy, doesn't it? Why do you try to shoot him? Because he knows what you already know. That you're never supposed to be with Bill. You're supposed to marry Travis, have children, and live happily ever after. But you rejected your destiny. No. You can't really blame Travis, can you? I mean, what would you do if you found out another man was preventing your child from being born? Frankly, I'm amazed Travis lasted as long as he did. Either way, if I stay, Bill dies. I lose him no matter what. That's true. But the dark particles inside you, they like it, don't they? There's no part of me that wants Bill to feel pain. Or Travis. Does it make you feel important to know that your decision carries the weight of life and death for someone else? No. I want to be the one who dies. Give that lady a prize. That's your third future. You give your body over, stay here, remain in limbo, Forever. Ask it's Teresa, is it really you? Look, it's the one Vitality didn't choose. Failed on another mission, I say. Don't listen to him, Astrid. He is nothing but a manifestation of the dark matter of your demons. He's shown me things. Horrible things. Yeah, well, the truth hurts, especially when you're a red-headed harpy like Francis May Haven. In your mythology, the devil is a trickster, is he not? A betrayer and prince of lies. So that's all Sam can be here. Do you understand? He is the manifestation of your own dark side. 
and of the dark matter consuming the house. Please, Teresa, help me. If you go with her, it's a war with the dark matter, and vitality cannot win. But if Astrid stays here, with me, there's at least a chance for survival. So why don't you crawl home? You seem right. What's happening in the house? Dark matter is consuming the house at the end of the universe. We teeter on the brink of non-existence. We have very few alternatives. That I should stay. No, Astrid. Whatever is destined to become of us, let us face it together, as we have before. Or conversely, you could remain here and suffer for their sins. Does that idea hold some appeal for you? You could be a crimson Joan of Arc, a distaff Jesus Christ, sacrificing your life for the lives of others. Astrid, you know we are a family. If we lose you, the family shatters. We cannot continue without you. You're better off without me, and you know it. I'm violent, irrational, and unpredictable. You've said so. Indeed. But if the darkness exists inside each of us, then we compensate for that deficit by the bonds we build to other people, with love, with compassion. You, me, Arlo, Bill, Travis, we form a whole. We compensate for each other's failures. Separated and alone, we belong nowhere. But here in this house, together, we have a home. If I go back, Bill dies. No matter what I do, something happens to someone I love. You recall when Travis told us of his individual time loop. Remember, the key was the five of us working together, rowing in the same direction. You said so yourself. Yeah. But we all know how well that turned out, don't we? Pastor, trust me. I'm begging you. I do trust you. And that's why I'm asking you to go back. Take care of Bill and the others. Be good to them. Make them understand. Tell them I said... Tell them I said goodbye. I should no, don't do this. This is the only place I can do good, Teresa. The only place where I won't hurt any of you. It's time for me to be where I belong. Hell. That is not true. It is true. You spoke of your destiny, of your life leading you to this place here and now. Can't you see the same is true of me? This is not your destiny, Astrid. You asked me to respect your choice. Now respect mine. No, you don't know what you're doing. I insist you return with me. Sever this link. All right, Sam. Astrid, no. No! Why well, don't you stand there? Do whatever it is you're going to do. I'm yours. Body and soul. Yes. Well? I'm just thinking about which part of you I want to experience first. I'm going to awaken you to your true self, Astrid. Are you ready? I'm afraid. Can you do it? No, no, Astrid! What happened? We've lost her. Astrid, she just decided to join with Vitality, with the Dark Matter. No. That's not possible. She wouldn't. She has been persuaded by the dark matter entity that her presence here would be harmful to you, Bill. And you, Travis. You mean we're responsible? I don't mean to cast blame. I was merely explaining. I'm sorry. She told me to tell you that she sacrificed herself for us so that we might have a chance to live. You mean she's gone for good? Please, we have to get out of here. We must hurry. Why? Astrid, what remains of Astrid will be here, so we don't want to be here for that. There's nowhere to run. Where are we going to go? For the moment, anywhere but this room will suffice. Hold up, Teresa. What's got you freaked? I don't understand. What she... doesn't live here anymore, lover. Master, please. I know there's a part of you still inside of there. Come back to us. Little man Arlo. 
We are friends. No, you are my victims. Come to me. Bruno, get away from me. Bastard, is that you? Oh God, it's inside me. It's devouring me. No, it's too dangerous. That is not Astrid. She is not in control. Don't go near her. Teresa, I, I need you. I don't like it when you interfere. Your brain is such a finely tuned instrument. Let's see how it works out of tune. Consider that your first lesson. Back the hell up. Astrid, I don't want to shoot you, but I will. Back the hell up. Astrid, I mean it. Back up. Come to me, lover. Taste of my lips have for you. No, don't go. I love you, Bill. I always have, but I'm slipping away. What's happening? How can we help you? The war is lost. The empty spots inside me, the ones I could never fill, the dark matter has them. Even together, Vitaly and I can't win. End this, please. I tried. God knows I tried. Kill me. Lover. Bill, come on. My kitchen. My oven. Shit. It's gone. She destroyed it. Oh, a dead end. What a shame. No, I will stop. You said my time was coming to us. I think this is it. Goodbye. What happened? Where's Arlo? Whatever power Arlo had, he used it to send us here. And Astrid has him. I can't sense him anywhere. He's gone. We need to keep moving. Where are we going? There's no friggin' exits in this house. We can't stay in one place too long. All we can do now is buy ourselves time. Maybe we can find an answer. Sacrifice me for nothing. We need you. What are you doing with that? Running? Are you going to leave us here to die like brick? Coward. No. That's not my plan, Travis. Come on, let's go. I guess this is door number one. Astrid's things are gone.
build what? This is set for 2026. Sam's home, his quantum universe. You said we can't reach it. Quantum eclipse and all? Whoever used this would essentially be consigned to... Oblivion. Trapped between quantum universes. Essentially the same fate that awaits us all now, right? Wait, wait, what are you suggesting? What are you going to do? Teresa, does that thing inside Astra's body control the dark matter? Yes. It controls everything here now. It has dominion. And if we got rid of it? The dark matter controls would also go. They're joined irrevocably. Oh, but we'd also lose Astrid. And vitality. Are you certain? Reasonably. I can't believe we're talking about killing Astrid. Focus, Travis. It already killed Brick. God only knows what it did to Arlo. I just won't be a party to this. I'm not going to kill Astrid. Pure evil is out there, Travis, and it's coming for us now. It's outside that door. Do you understand? No, no. I, I'm, I won't kill Astrid. I love her. She's already dead. And you know it. That thing controls her body. That's all. You never loved her like I did. I loved her in a dozen lifetimes. Make your peace with it, Travis. You've got to. Never. Kill me instead. What? Kill me. It's the only answer. Every time I've died before, everything starts over again. All of you show up, including Astrid Narla. Travis. I'm serious, Bill. Don't you think I'd give up my life for my beloved wife? Give me the telemeter. Maybe this is why I'm here. Maybe this is the thing all along I'm supposed to learn. Maybe this is who I really am. That I'm the one who dies so Astrid can live. Travis, we have no guarantee of a reboot. If you die, you can die. I'm ready to die. Things aren't looking good in that front now anyway. Unfortunately, your reasoning is flawed. If you die now, the beast survives and we have no telemeter to send it away with. But if you die after we get rid of the beast, there's still a chance that we might restart when we inevitably die here. Do you understand? Now or five minutes from now. I guess it doesn't matter. I just want Astrid to live. Teresa. When she goes, when I do it, what will be left here? With vitality gone, this house will be but a shell. With no entrance, no exits, no food, no warmth, no shelter, no mind, no heart, no life. And will the room return to normal? I don't know. This house can never again be what it once was. Too much of it is missing now. It's this or nothing. Do you understand? I do. I'm at your side. Stay behind me. Nowhere left to run, nowhere left to hide. Are you ready to die? What did you do to Arlo? You're about to find out. Ashford, stop. How brave. Do you know what you're facing, Bill Clark? Eternity and annihilation all wrapped up in one. I know what you are, and I know what you're not. Then come to me. Taste me and truly know me. After death, our consciousness goes on, apart from the biological workings of our temporal body, beyond space and time even. When our brain activity ceases, when our organs shut down, this thing we cling to, this lifetime of experience, it does not disappear. It doesn't end. Doesn't it? No. The quantum information stored inside of us, our spirit, it goes on. 
It may no longer be organized in the way it once was, or it may remain only partially aware of itself, but it reconstitutes in another form, in another person. Matter is never destroyed, and that is why we, all of us, are immortal. Astra too, and Arlo. So they're still out there? Yes, they are, Bill. And let's go get them. <laughs>